Thakur makes a mark on debut to give India 1-0 lead. India 227, Hasibnis 42, Deepti 41, Amelia Kerr 4-42, Jess 3-49, beat New Zealand 168, Halliday 39, Green 31, Radha 3-35, Thakur 2-26, by 59 runs. New Zealand were on the high of a maiden women's T20 World Cup win and their spinners combined to take 7 of the 10 Indian wickets to restrict them to 227. But India's ODI debutants, Tejal Husabnis and Saima Thakur, shone in crucial moments to help them make a winning start to the three-match series against New Zealand in Ahmedabad. Husabnis, the Maharashtra middle-order batter, played a steady innings at number 6 walking in after India were in a spot of bother. She made 42 of 64 balls and was involved in a 61-run partnership. Then Thakur, Mumbai's bowling all-rounder who played for Up Warriors in WPL 2024, delivered telling blows with the ball to help dismiss New Zealand for 168 and help India go 1-0 up with a 59-run win at a venue that was hosting a women's ODI for the first time since April 2013. Amelia Kerr and Eden Carson continued their superb form from the T20 World Cup. Amelia, the player of the tournament, returned 4-42 for while Carson, who headed into the title clash on the back of two player of the match performances, picked up two of her own. With Susie Bates also bowling five overs and returning a wicket, it seemed as if India had left a few runs on a surface that looked good for batting. That looked to be case even more when Georgia Plimmer got off to a flyer. She hit a flurry of boundaries off Thakur and Reno Singh, both of whom murdered by bowling on her pads. The idea was not all wrong, Thakur was getting the ball to shape away, and hence was trying for the magic ball. There was merit in her bowling plan after it paid dividends on her third ball in internationals. She got one to nip away ever so slightly to entice a poke from Bates and Feather and Edge behind. Reno Kha used the width of the bowling crease to bowl the in anglers, but it played into the hands of Plimmer and Lauren Down, batting at number three after Amelia was seen limping towards the end of the bowling innings. But Deepti Sharma then used her experience to prize out Plimmer. She slowed the flighted ball down and made the batter force the issue, only for her to chip a return catch back. Deepti's street smartness then helped India see the back of New Zealand captain Sophie Devine. Devine who stepped down from T20I captaincy after the T20 World Cup, pushed one towards Deepti but stood out of her crease. Deepti threw the ball back at wicketkeeper Yastikar Bhatia even as Divine took a few steps back, but no part of her foot was inside the crease. Radha then managed to have down Miss Q1 to mid off and over after a leading edge landed short of the same region. Which is when the real domination came from New Zealand with the bat. Brooke Halliday and Maddie Green combined to play a seat.